Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here to do a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective so it may not resonate with all of you. Okay just take what resonates, leave the rest, don't try to force it. And thank you so much everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you so much for all of your support. Truly I mean that. I hope you guys know how much I appreciate all of you. And you can be any sign for this reading. Um, if something pulled you into the title, you're in the right place, okay? And just so you know, I have the flu today. <coughs> I was, I started getting really sick last night, so um, I, you know, I'm sorry for the coughing. I'm sorry for my raspy voice, you know, if it gets raspy. I'm um, so, so sorry, everybody, but life happens. You know, I've got two kids that bring other kids in, and it's like, oh, it's impossible to stay away from the sickness today, you know, in like in this in this community, I swear. But anyway, um, Divine, what do you have for the collective today? Let's just jump into it, right? What do you have for the collective today? What messages do you have for the collective? Okay. <laughs> um, you know, I feel like, um, honestly, I feel like this person that you're dealing with, I kind of get the sense that they're in the Queen of Cups energy right now. This is somebody having an awakening, I have to say. They've just had an awakening, like right in the nick of time. It, they may not even have enough time left because I'm seeing this Wheel of Fortune as a closed door. Okay, but I do see somebody here, this Hangman, possible Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, I feel like they're having an awakening. You know why? Let me show you why. I'll show you what your person has been going through. Okay, the journey that we've had to take. Um, it's affected us all. Okay, hold on. Let me pause the video. Okay, sorry about that. I had to find all the cards, okay? All right, so I'm using a different deck just to give you a visual of the kind of energy we've had to go through. The goal here is to reach the Empress energy and the emperor energy okay and kind of combine that energy together in both of you that means that you had to um, go through this journey learn every queen in the deck to um, eventually adopt masculine energy at the same time then you're really complete right you've got both the yin and the yang coming together okay your person needed to do the, the same thing they needed to uh, um they needed to learn every king in the deck in order to um, become an emperor and also adopt feminine energy, right? Now, a masculine, this masculine, I feel uh, most masculines, they don't want to let go of their ego. So it's been really hard for this person to get touchy-feely, right? It's been really hard for them to get in their emotions. But that's what's, what needs to be done, right? Now, here's, here's your journey in a nutshell, okay? You started out as the Queen of Cups, giving of your love, um, having nothing but good intentions for, for everyone, right? And you gave this person your love, and what did they do? They stabbed you in the back. At that point, you became the Queen of Swords energy, okay? Having pulling that sword out yourself and healing on your own. Then after that, you focused on yourself in the Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? You focused on yourself. You built yourself back up. You focused on the things that you could control and grow. And you're now you're, um, because of all that focus and all that effort you put into yourself, um, you have, you're sitting um, in a very financially stable throne right now okay with the ability to handle it all on your own at that point <coughs> excuse me you adopt masculine energy if you the reason why i say it's masculine energy is because the queen of wands realizes her worth 
She, um, she doesn't really need anyone. And she's going to, she says, forget it. I've had enough of this. I'm going to go after what I want. Plus, look at the way you're sitting in the chair. No other queen is sitting in the chair that way. But you, you're, uh, I feel like this is a masculine way of sitting, okay? And I feel like you've adopted now both feminine and feminine and masculine energy. And I feel like now you're pretty headstrong. You're pretty clear on what you got, what you have to do. You know you can create um, empires by yourself because you've acquired that masculine energy, right? So we take this masculine, this is who we're talking about. You've learned all of this, right? This you had to start in your in your feminine energy and wind up in in sort of a masculine energy. Now, your masculine they started out with masculine energy. Okay? I feel like they played you um, in your feminine energy, okay? You and you let them you let them into your life and into your heart because you were open to that loving feminine space, right? But they were very much in their masculine energy, headstrong, um, just going after what they wanted, all up in their ego, okay? Um, and then they went, I feel like, um, I feel like they were focused on money and, and finances instead of love. They didn't really, they, I feel like this person turned their nose up at you, left you, stabbed you in the back, right? Look at how the cards are. It's complete opposite of yours, okay? And then, so, you know, then they cut you out. They had to sit here and get clarity on things. Um, they may have been a grump because they lost their chance at love. Now they're in their heart space, okay? Having to adopt that feminine energy in order to um, let go of their ego and blend in with their feminine side. So you had to blend in with your masculine side, and they have to blend in with their feminine emotional side. They have to accept their emotions. And you had to accept the strength of masculine energy. Okay? So it's, it's kind of weird. Um, it's sort of, that's that infinity symbol. Okay? Um, but that's what we have going on here. So your person has made it, through to this point and now they're they're seeing everything they're being enlightened why because they're finally adopting their feminine energy that emotion that they didn't want to let go of they i feel like they they procrastinated on that they didn't want to let go of their ego they didn't want to let go of their arrogance they thought they could do whatever they wanted and rule right but they can't rule over you anymore because now you don't need anybody. You've adopted this masculine energy along with your feminine energy. You've learned every queen in the deck. And this person has learned every king in the deck. And now they're finally getting the emotions and accepting the emotions and the love they have for you. Okay, so now... They've learned every king. Do you see what I'm saying? I hope so. It's a visual aid. But um, it's not actually part of your reading, so I'm going to put these cards back. But yeah, um, that's what's happening here, and that's why I say they're having an enlightenment, and I feel like this is their energy. I feel like this is theirs. They're realizing um, their softer side, right? They're... They're having to accept that they have emotions for you, and that opens their heart. And when your heart is open, you actually are able to let in um, spirituality as well. Okay? So, um, yeah, all of this is changing really fast here, and now your person wants to come towards you and offer you this cup of love, but because of the visual aid I just gave you, you're standing in your strength. Because you've adopted your masculine side, okay? Because you had to on this journey. 
This person really left you no choice. So now you're really strong. You're much stronger right now than this person because you did your work ahead of time. And they're a bit behind you. And you may not even believe them when they come in to tell you how they feel. Like, hey, look what I just found out, right? I just realized I'm in love with you. I'm accepting how I feel about you. I'm not in my arrogance anymore. I don't want to keep this on hold anymore. I know I don't have any more time to tell you this, but I want to tell you how I feel about you, right? And you're like, I don't want to listen anymore because you're both emperor and empress now. You don't need anyone anymore. And you I feel like you don't trust them. You don't trust them. You're standing really strong in your boundaries. Okay? But this person, I feel like they want to they want to work on this with you. They want to collaborate. They're getting downloads and messages from the divine. Um, and they may want answers. And you have them because you've gone through the journey and you've done your work. So uh, they want to collaborate now. They want to work with you on things now. This person realizes it's a past life soulmate connection and they want it back. And um, I feel like uh, they just, they know who you are now. Their eyes are open. This is like a light switch being turned on. Like, aha, right? That's what, oh, I see now, right? Yeah, a sudden realization. Thank you, Divine. A sudden realization. The thing is, is and your person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be, even be, um, you could be a Leo. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I've got Cancer here moving forward. So some of you have this Cancerian energy where you're just determined to keep going because you're happy. You're already having a victory. You're happy. You're strong. You don't need anyone. You've gone, you've learned all of those uh, four queens. Okay, I hope the visual aid helped. Um, and now your person is really burdened because you're leaving. Truth. They have clarity. They know who you are. You're the one for them. They're in love with you. They're finally accepting those feelings because they're now embracing the feminine side. Okay. Um, and they're very burdened because they ran out of time. They ran out of time. It's not, I feel like, too, it's not so much beating this wheel, right? But it's also about, you know, they had a chance to keep up. They had a chance to, to accept the way they, they feel and let go of their ego, and they didn't. They kind of waited this out as long as they could. And so it's, it's more like they left you alone for too long, doing absolutely nothing. And now you're just, you're too far ahead of them. You're, you're too far ahead of them. And you're, you're moving forward with a lot of speed, okay, and determination. I mean, you're like, you're like um, a Joan of Arc here. Uh, in uh, full metal, a full metal jacket, you're, you're a warrior, you've been through it, and you've learned. They're, they're just now finishing up their learning, okay? They are having an, an awakening, but they feel like, I mean, you're so far ahead of them, and you're not talking, and you're too strong in your boundaries, and you're determined to move forward. They may, they may have lost their chance here. They may have lost their chance because they stood around and they waited for far too long. Um, they invested into something that they have to walk away from now. They had a decision to make and they sat on it. Just watching you, stalking you, how, that does nothing for this person. Okay, that's not putting forth any kind of effort. That's wasting your time. They should have been focused on themselves. You were focused on yourself. And now this person's in a lot of regret because of all the time wasted. They had time. They had ample time. But they, they, didn't, they didn't have their enlightenment in time. They didn't want to let go of their ego. 
and now you've blocked this energy out because you're just you're so strong you know I feel like you got tired of waiting for this person to talk to you this is stagnancy it's no communication it's also you with your hands crossed across your chest you're protecting yourself I feel like you've made a decision you're blocking them out and you're moving forward and now your person doesn't know what to do and I feel like you're just done with them too, trying to decide choose a path right the divine gave them a choice they knew what it was that they wanted but they didn't take any action on it all they did was juggle should I shouldn't I will I won't I you know um, they juggled you with someone else I feel and you're just done you're done getting nothing out of this if it's not given something to you you're moving forward and your person knows it and they're falling apart they know it and they're falling apart they're having to sit <laughs> Okay, so for those of you who know me, you know what I'm going to say about this bedspread, right? <laughs> and for those of you who are new here, I hate this bedspread. It's the ugliest bedspread that I think I've ever seen. I just, I feel like it's very ugly. It's fugly. And this person is having to now look at this ugliness of their own patterns of behavior and how they treated you everything that they've done wrong to you everything that they should have done and didn't things that they said things that happen how could they have left you behind right the things that they didn't know they're looking at all of it this is like dark night of the soul stuff this person can't eat they can't sleep because they know you're the one for them the queen of pentacles is wifey and they were a fool to have ever let you go they were a fool to have ever let you go and now they fall apart thinking about all of this right um, you know as they sit here and cry they're embracing their feminine energy and they're realizing that it requires both feminine and masculine okay so yeah they're having an enlightenment they are learning but I feel like they're just a bit too late and you're just a bit too fed up this is having that clarity that they need I feel like this person wants to come in and communicate um yeah if this is clarity they know how big of a fool they were they're looking at everything they know they know all right so what action is this person I feel like they I don't know what action yeah see they know all that they did they wanted to hang on to that masculine energy they wanted to hang on to their lifestyle I feel like this person could have played you you know this is screwing you over right here that's pretty much what that is you know and I, I feel like yeah they they realize this with the with the four of swords in the middle I feel like too this person slept on it they wanted to hang on to their um, their player lifestyle and in in order in doing that they lost their ten of cups they broke your heart they're heartbroken actually now it's them who's heartbroken because they know what they lost because they didn't get their act together fast enough they thought that they could put everything on delay for an unlimited amount of time who's going to wait forever for somebody and like you're put on this earth just to wait around for people you know that's no mm -mm. I well yeah they're thinking to themselves what was I thinking now they've look there's that final king they're, I'm telling you, they're, they're, they're accepting their emotions. They're accepting how they feel about you. It's not just acceptance now. They really want you back. They see that they were a fool and they're up all night crying over it. That's letting their emotions just flow. This person's waking up. They're adopting that feminine side. 
okay? They're waking up. Um, you could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I think I said that already, though. I've got Aries, Virgo out here, Leo. All right, give me one more for the collective. I do hope my visual aid helps, though. I, I tried to describe it before, and I don't know if it got through to people, but um, yeah. And that's that's where we get that, inf I, that's where I feel like that infinity sign is, right? Because the energy does kind of go back and forth like that. Um, yeah, this uh, now they've bossed up into the emperor, all right? Now they've, I feel like they've learned every king in the deck now. They've learned every king in the deck. They've had an ego death. They're falling apart. They're accepting their emotions. They're like swimming in it. Um, and now they want this new beginning. They want this new beginning with you. Okay? I feel like, though, I've got the sabotage card on the bottom of the deck, so I feel like this person sabotaged themselves because they stood on this for far too long and refused to learn the lessons. But I feel like they've, they've made it through the journey um, at least enough to give it a go, but the, I feel like it's too late. Yeah, I feel like it's too late. How do they approach the high priestess now, the one with all the answers? How do they approach her? They could have done a lot, too, that they want to keep secret because, you know, they've been doing stuff and having their fun while you've been putting in your work. So they may have some things that they've done that they don't want to tell you. But, I mean, I'm just seeing somebody who's very afraid to approach the high priestess who is no longer speaking to them. And they may feel a little bit stuck. I feel like the divine kept this person stuck, honestly, until they, they learned all of the kings and, um, and until they had an enlightenment. But this person, I, I feel like they didn't want to let go of their ego. And they didn't want to approach you. And they know you're not talking to them. And they know you're very powerful and intuitive. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're nervous about this um, confronting you. They're very nervous about this, but they certainly do not want to let you go. I feel like they're coming in to talk, but it may be too late. And they even know that. They're falling apart. This is a wounded warrior here. They've been through a lot. But they've also done a lot. They've also done a lot. And in order to confront you, they've got to tell you everything that they may want to keep a secret. Because you're not going to accept anything but the truth now. And you're going to see right through this person if they're lying. Okay? The thought of you with someone else drives me crazy. Yeah, they don't want that to happen. Being away from you hurts like hell. I didn't realize it would be this difficult. I knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah, I feel like this person hurt you and they knew you were hurting and they didn't make it right. The, the divine, the universe gave them time to make things right and they didn't. They wasted all that time. So, you know, I mean, if they miss their chance with you, it's all on them. I got to say, it's going to be all on them. I couldn't handle my true feelings for you, so I kept you as a friend and nothing more. Honestly, I don't even think you got a friendship out of this person. I just think they couldn't handle their feelings. Do you see that? I couldn't handle my true feelings, period. They, d they were not willing to accept that they had emotions for you because they hadn't learned to embrace that feminine side. They were too much in their ego. All right, so give me one more for what this person wants to say. I feel like I don't know who I am anymore. Yeah, I'm sure this confuses them. It's difficult. This person was, I feel like they were very egotistical. Um, 
And so having to having to embrace that emotional side is something that's got them kind of like, I mean, it's a tower moment, right? I feel like it's a tower. It's a sudden realization. It's, it's you know, they're changing. They're changing collective, okay? And they're having a, a, they're having a confusing time with that. But they'll get it. I feel like in the meantime, you just keep moving forward. Keep protecting yourself. But this person is about to come forward here because quite simply, they will not let you go. They don't want to let you go. Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I really do. Um, I hope this resonates with you. If you guys like this video, please click that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.